Living in a smaller home is not a problem for many seniors. Some move into trailers when we downsize. And they are affordable, but many seniors do not want a trailer or to live in a trailer park. Seniors would like to see some housing that would fit into their budget. We realize that builders also want to be able to build for their budget. We hope to find a middle ground. Talking to seniors who would like to stay in Littleton, their hometown, they have given their opinion on what size and style would make it agreeable for either party. Are the houses going to be condo style, duplex or single, two floors or one? One floor is the answer most of the time. A garage, a basement, or an attic in house, or a garage for storage. Two bedrooms, one and a half baths, walk-in shower, higher toilets, are pets allowed, and possibly a dog walk, any maintenance for grounds. The builders and town officials have to consider the concerns that people will have to pay to fit their bank accounts. Example, a $250,000 house, taxes are $4,535 per year. A $350,000 house to buy is $6,349 in taxes per year and utilities Electricity is $77 monthly average. Is there an association or condo fee? Taxes, insurance. Of course, these are not of concern for the builder or realtor, but need to be considered by the buyer before they put down that deposit. If the houses are too expensive, our Littleton seniors will have to move. But people from Lexington, Wilmington, Newton, etc., after selling their million dollar houses, will move here because of the lower prices for their budget. And today, here are a few senior voices that explain their views on the housing needs of our seniors. I'm Marilyn Fidel, and I live at Four Reed Lane here in Littleton. And I live in the, I live in the only 55 plus community currently in town. Um, there are a couple of things. If you're thinking of building a 55 plus, I think the master bedroom is very key because the taxes are so high here, we're looking elsewhere, but we're finding the master bedroom is so small that you can't fit enough in it. And I would suggest a master bedroom of about 15 by 14. That way it, will accompany, it would accommodate a queen size bed or a king size bed as well. And it should be on the first floor so that it has its own bathroom and its own walk-in closet as part of an ensuite. I would suggest a different tax rate because right now I am thinking seriously of moving because my taxes are almost $8,000 for this little tiny house. And in addition, you have a homeowner's fee of a couple of hundred dollars a month. And this has just gotten out of control. We have no services. We do not get plowed. That comes out of our homeowner's fee. Um, and we don't have any children in school, but we're paying for children to be in school, and we're not. We've long passed that. We've paid those off many times. Um, pets. I think you have to think very seriously about what kind of pets are going to be allowed in your community. Are you going to allow great big dogs? Are you going to or just little ones and maybe cats, maybe things that are small rather than large ones. Um, do you want, do people want to live close to the center of town or do they want a little bit of land around and be away from the hustle and bustle of the town as long as we have the van service? Um, you need to plan storage as well in these because when we leave our big homes or our homes, we have things that we want, but we need a place to store them in our new home. And we need a really a nice kitchen. Um, I think most of us really like having a kitchen and a place to cook or do whatever. The kitchen always seems to be the center of activity in any home, whether it's a one person home or five or six. Uh, I think a, a price range if it's a standalone house, I would say it would probably be around four and a quarter to 450. If it's 
a part of a duplex, it's probably around three, three and a quarter to 350. And my big suggestion, if you do this, you need to, you should have a different tax rate for 55 plus, and that also should include the 55 plus community that is on Reed Lane currently. And do you want to own this or what do, you, do you want to rent it? If, you, if you're renting, someone has to manage this. You need a management company if you're going to have rentals. If it's homeowners and it's not too large a group, the homeowners can manage it themselves by having an association. Yeah, the master suite does need to be on the first floor. Some people in a homeowners association for 55 plus, they would like to have the shower stall with a seat in it. Maybe, maybe the, and the doors probably need to be a little bit wider to accommodate the possibility of someone needing a wheelchair. As people age, quite often they need extra things to help them with. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Sharon Corbin. I live at 31 Lawrence Street in, here in Littleton. We've been here for 41 years now. And it's time for us to downsize. We have a nine room colonial. We're looking to downsize into, I'm gonna say a two bedroom with a one car garage. Um, I would like two full baths. I would like the walk-in shower. I would not care for a kitchen because having been married you know, for 50 years now, I'm tired of cooking. So I like to uh, get them to eat out. I do all want it on one floor. I have had a knee replacement, so one floor living, you know, is great for me. Um, and whether we rent or buy, it, I guess the only issue would be the taxes. Um, if we had, you know, lower taxes for seniors. Uh, right now we had looked at a senior housing complex and unfortunately it was too big. It was three bedrooms, a finished bed bat, uh, downstairs, and it was just a little bit too big for us and it would have been an even swap. So at this point, we're looking to make a little bit of money out of the sale of our house in order to purchase the downsized house that we really would like. Um, Maintenance? Do we want maintenance? That would be the biggest boon, having someone clear the driveway, having someone mow the lawn. Um, I'm not into condo living. You know, I like the separate housing units because I do want my own space. And I, I do want it to be centrally located so that we can get out, we can walk around. Um, walking to a store would be great. Do we, having trails. Do we want a community center on site? Yes, we could. That would be fun. Do we want a pet? Yes, it should be pet friendly. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Um, I know that I'm a strong advocate for seniors here in town. I do a lot of volunteering for seniors. I am a senior. And please, hug a senior. Thank you very much. Hello. Uh, first, let me thank the planning board and Barbara for giving me the opportunity to share our housing needs. I'm Paul Curtin, myself and my wife Millie live at Three Gray Farm Road. We moved in in 1995 and have been there since. We were the first occupants, so therefore we're familiar with cluster zoning. And as an aside, I am also a licensed real estate broker. Senior housing, which many people look at as 55 and older, encompasses two distinct sets of people. The 55-year-old people who, like us when we moved into Gray Farm Road, are perfectly capable of caring for themselves in their facilities. And the people like us 20 years later who are in the 70s that have a different need. We're gonna talk about the needs of, of ourselves. What we need is to downsize. We need to downsize everything. The good Lord has taken care of a lot of those downsizings for us already, but we're gonna to talk today about housing. First thing we need to downsize is the size of the unit. 1,600 to 1,800 square feet should be the maximum. We need to downsize the number of bedrooms. We have four bedrooms, two bedrooms are sufficient. We need to downsize the number of bathrooms. We have three bathrooms, two bathrooms would be sufficient. We need to downsize, and this is important, the number of floors. It is critical for our needs that there be no staircases. Townhouses don't work for us or our friends. 
We have heart problems, knee problems, hip problems, and other diseases such as Parkinson. Downsizes it requires that we have no stairs. Stairs are our enemy. We should downsize the size of our lot. The care of the outside and the needs are too much for us today. We need the capability for lawn care and snow, snow removal. Our present house is much too hard and hiring people to do all these chores is very difficult. We need to downsize the price of many of these houses. The average house sold in Littleton is 400 to 440,000, depending upon which website you look at. Therefore, senior housing should be no more than $450,000 range. And given the density of housing, where you're getting three houses onto a lot, that should not be a problem for the developer. Taxes are a critical issue for us also. Today, our taxes have gone up over 350% since we've moved here. Our Social Security has only gone up 150% or less. Something needs to give. There is no seniors program to help all seniors with taxes in Littleton. I'd like to thank you for giving me the time and the chance to share our needs. You're free to call me at home at any time if you want more information. Thank you again. Hi, my name is Dan Toombs. I live at Four Meadow Drive in Littleton. I'm here to tell you that there's a problem in Littleton as far as senior housing. I would like to go into a assisted or independent living and there's none in Littleton. I would consider a smaller house because maintaining a house is too much for me now. I'd like to stay in Littleton because it's, but it's too expensive for seniors. I have one other reason I'd like to stay in Littleton. My granddaughter lives here. The house or apartment that I'd like would have one and a half bathrooms, no stairs, all in one level, um, two bedrooms, and a, and a garage, and a small kitchen. Contractors, I hope you meet my needs so I can stay in Littleton, and there are other seniors in the same position. Thank you.